Ta-da! M Sport brakes for $12.99 <laughs> instead of three grand plus wheels. What's going on guys? We are jumping into the Beamer today, off on our way to get some paint for the brake calipers. So today, it's been a long process, a long stressful process of what color do we paint the brakes. Now I was pretty torn between uh, going like a red or the M Sport Blue. Uh, turns out there is a pretty close match to the M Sport Blue that is a metal cast, duple color metal cast. Uh, blue anodized stuff or something. But there's also the good old classic red. And I'm very torn. The only deciding factor is I'm a huge fan of the M Sport Blue. I wish I could have the M Sport Blue wheels. Brakes. But unfortunately you need 19 inch wheels to clear those. I do not have those. I can't even, I couldn't even run those in good old Canada here because our roads have been carpet bombed. So trash those real quick. So anyway, we're stuck with the good old factory 335i brakes. I think red would look good. Red looks great on every car. It's always, it's what I've always done. So uh, the only reason I'm not doing that is I have absolutely nothing red on my car and everyone does it. I just want to be different. So see what happens. Jump right into it, rip the wheels off and clean some brakes. Let's jump into our boys. So this is what we got going on. Hopefully it doesn't actually look like this. I'm hoping because it's bare metal that it's gonna be a lot darker. We will see how this turns out. Hopefully I don't ruin my car because I will be some upset. See what she does. It's a super windy day, fellow neighbor. Super not ideal. Looks looks pretty nice, but it's, it's pretty windy. So these are the stock looking nuggets that I'm talking about. There's a few ways I can go at doing this. Ideally, you'd want to tape everything off, and I really am tempted to do that. However, if I get on the rotor, the first time I touch the brakes, gets rid of all that, solves that problem. The brake pads I have to replace, although they are brand new brake pads, because they're really noisy. So, honestly, I might not even have to take the front uh, calipers off like I was planning. The rears I probably should, but these, I think I can get away with. I am gonna go ahead and paint this as well. And hopefully this will uh, be a lot darker than how it looks on the cap um, and look closer to the M Sport brakes I wish I could afford. So that's why we're doing this. <laughs> Ugly little calipers with some fresh paint. So to do this, we got us some brake clean, probably not enough and a lot of brushes and we get a scrub. So just gonna figure out they're really hot because I just I was just driving a lot and I got to figure out what I want to tape off if I tape anything off. So let's figure this one out and jump right in or start scrubbing and painting. Oh, there's that wind I love. Boy, that's gonna be neat when I'm trying not to spray my fender that color. That's gonna be annoying. So we hit it with some sandpaper, hit it with some brake clean, hit it with some wax and grease remover and brushes of all different sizes. So I'm calling her good and if it's not good, we're gonna find out real quick when it doesn't stick. So <laughs> let's go ahead and slam it with some paint and hope this turns out all right. Probably should prime it. Some say don't prime it. I haven't read this can. This is also not adequate for temperatures of braking. Blue, M Sport Blue, even though it's not real. Let's give her. <laughs> a 
a little windy. All right, so not the best conditions, and boy, did that look terrible at first, but that's coming around. It looks pretty blue on camera, actually. That's, the hell's going on here? In person, this is a hard purple, but uh, look at that. Oh, that's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, I wish it looked like that. <laughs> All right, so um, ta-da, M Sport brakes for twelve ninety nine <laughs> instead of three grand plus wheels. Oh, I need brakes. It's gonna be a hard darn when I have to chip that paint and replace those front pads right away. Yep. But I'm impatient, so here we are. So front done, minimal overspray, car still body color. That's pretty neat. That looked like sh the first three coats, but it's actually not too bad. So I could probably use another. That's a rusty rotor. Glad I paid for those coatings. That's not too bad though. So pretty hard to see in there. I'm pretty happy I went with the uh, blue. It doesn't stand out that much. It's like something you really gotta look for, but pretty happy with how these calipers turned out. Now I was pretty worried when I first put them on uh, that they were not gonna look too great, but they turned out pretty good actually. It's pretty hard to pick up on camera, but uh, in person, I'd say that's absolutely perfect. I'm actually really happy with how those turned out. Took a few more coats than I was hoping, so maybe next time a primer would be a good, uh, good bet there, but. Rears, same deal. They got their weird angles, but uh, looks really good actually. So not ideal doing it in the wind. Car needs a cleaning, needs some tire shine, a wash, clean some wheels, but pretty happy with how those turned out. So that's it for today, guys. We got those brakes done pretty quick. Pretty short video today. It's a nice, quick little job. Uh, gave me something to do on this nice day off. Obviously this would have been better if it wasn't so windy. If I had to do this again, I'd probably use a primer or like a high temp gray something neutral just to get a nice uniform color but uh just took a little more a little more product a little more coats than uh, i was anticipating turned out really nice girlfriend detailed the car it's beautiful Ooh. look at that look at this sheen Ooh. wow so that's it for today guys thank you for watching uh next video we got more parts coming. Also Mustang. Making some progress on that. So keep watching guys. If you like this BMW content, subscribe, follow for more. There's going to be a ton more uh, videos coming out on this little nugget. So catch you guys in the next one.